Can I ask you, have you ever cheated on someone? Yes, many times. I like honesty. Fair many play. times. I was a okay. serial cheater. I was cheating on a mad thing. It used to be a sport to me. If it was an Olympic sport, I would have been a gold medalist. I was super cheating. Big man ting, yeah? It's Castillo, aka your baby mum's favourite, aka say something on all digital platforms, bruv. And this is Clout Chasers. Now, big man ting, yeah, bruv. We live in a world full of clout chasers, and last year I got completely finessed, bruv. The gal took all my peas, bruv, and she left me for nothing. So now I'm back and I'm not messing about, bruv. Why can't a real G like me find real love, bruv? Now, big man ting, yeah, after dating all these beautiful women, I'm gonna pick one and I'm gonna slap some money in front of them, and I'm gonna see if they're here for the money and clout or if they're here for real love, bruv. This is clout chasers. My name is Leila. Um, I work in an office. So I am administrator and I'm from Swindon. I'm here to go on a date, <laughs> have some fun, hopefully meet someone that I like. Um, hopefully it goes well. So my date in life is not the best, but I'm not too fussed about it. So I'm just looking to meet someone if they're the right fit for me at the time. So my perfect man, um, tall, handsome, who likes to take charge. A bit of a bad boy, but treats me good. My ex in a man would be if a guy's too clingy too early on, because if I'm feeling you, but you're doing that too early, I'll instantly, no, I can't. You need to, you need to give me a bit of mystery. I don't want to know exactly how you feel about me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Layla. Layla. Nice to meet you, nice Layla. Nice to meet you. You look very nice in the all white. Thank you. I was going to say I like your shirt. Oh, thank you very much. You got a nice jewelry on as well. Thank you very much. You're very, you look like a Barbie. You're very pretty. Really? Yeah. They're just I'm blonde. No, no. Really. I feel like people say that when, when I'm just blonde. It's the whole aesthetic. Really? Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. So how do you find the girls downstairs? I heard it's getting a bit feisty down oh, there. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit scared coming up here. I'm a bit shaky. Is it that the bad reactions downstairs? The reactions were a bit mad. I don't know what you've been saying to them. Mm, so what are, they, what are they saying down there? What's happening? <laughs> so you've been having some interesting conversations. Mm. And yeah. But I don't really know exactly. They weren't too, they didn't give too much away. Okay. So are you making friends nervous. down there though? That's the thing. Yeah, they're really nice. Come on, that's what I like to hear. But what did you think? Say something out now on all digital platforms. <laughs> Big man ting. So, where are you from? I'm from Swindon. Swindon? Yeah. Where is that? You never heard of is it. Is that an island? <laughs> no. Yeah, but where, where is Swindon? Wiltshire. Wiltshire. Okay, I don't know where that is. I'll yeah. be real for you, babe. If it's in not Bristol? in East London or North or nothing, I, I don't know, babe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm from there. For, so the first thing I can tell right now, I feel like you're very nervous right I now. I am. No, you don't why understand you? what they've been saying. So is that why you're nervous? Yeah. Because you seem very, very on edge right now. It's I'm all good, bit. though. Don't worry. Relax. There's, not, there's nothing mad that's going to happen right now. Okay. You get me? That's good. Yeah? So I've got to ask you an important question, though, first of all. Okay. Yeah? Do you like black guys? <laughs> you just got to get it straight out, okay. man. Yeah, I do. Big man yeah. ting. Okay. I do. So what kind of black guys you like? Like, when you see black guys, what are you looking for? Tall. Mm. Stylish. Stylish. I don't know. I just... So it's got to be black man still. That's, that's, that's all it got to be. Big <laughs> yeah. man ting. Shout out to the black people out there. But Shout do you like me. white girls? Big man ting. Can I be very honest with you, yeah? You know, this is the first time I've been on a date with a blonde gal. No way. In my life. You are the first. Are you joking? Are you 100%. Trying? What are you trying to say? Like, I look like one of them bounty men. <laughs> no. What are you trying to say? Big man ting. What are you saying? Yeah. No, but yeah, you're the first blonde gal I've ever been on a date with. So this is a first for me right now. So would you say I'm not your type then? No, it's not that. I just don't know where I would encounter you on a regular basis. Really? I feel like the, the clubs that I would meet you at, they don't let men like me in still. I don't feel <laughs> like I'm... I don't think I'll pass the vibe check. I'm not going to okay. lie. You get Why? Me? Where do you think I go? I feel like you go to them Essex mantings no. where men are have... They got quiffs no. and skinny jeans. <laughs> no. Why Maybe. do you think that? I'm a bit insulted. Do you want me to be real, Bev? Yeah. It's because you're white, I'm not going to lie, really? Bev. Sorry to be... Trying to end racism and that, yeah, but you get me. So you put us all in the same... No, Bev, okay. this ain't no All Lives Matter ting. Relax yourself. You're moving super mad right now. <laughs> Big man ting. I got you smiling, so that's a good smile. To be that's fair, you have. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it, actually. Don't know, don't know. But I don't know what else you're going to say. 
I'm not gonna say nothing, man. Okay. Do, I, do I not look like I'm a nice man? You do seem all right, yeah. Come on. You ever dated somebody with gold teeth before? Mm, no. Mm. Uh, no. Never? I think they had one. They had somewhere. one? Somewhere. Where was he from? Um, London. London. Like, I mean, like, culturally, yeah. like, what's he saying? Oh, um, I think he was Jamaican. He was Jamaican. Oh, so you like the Jamaican man still? Mm -hmm. You like Mavado and Vibes Cartel and that? Yeah. Don't know. Okay. Are you Jamaican? But, nah, I'm not Jamaican. Okay. Nah, I'm not Jamaican. Where do you think I'm from? Nigeria. Big man thing. Hey. Shout out to racism still. No. Nigeria. You I'm know. not. No. But, no. You get it. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a piss. I'm okay. I'm trying to. I tried to rattle you, <laughs> don't man. Say I'm trying that to cancel me. your whole life right no, now. Please don't. No, please. I'm just trying to joke it that way. She's not racist, people, man. She's just, Date with me, oh, but it's all clear. I'm joking with you, bro. I'm so I'm going to have a panic attack. No, 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 don't. Relax, 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 chill out. No, so it's all good then. Don't worry about so it. So why are you here? Like, what? I mean, not why are you here, but like, what are you... What, in this country? What? No, no. No, I'm just joking, I'm joking. <laughs> what are you looking for? Because I feel like you would get a lot of girls, so... Why, why do you think I'd get a lot of you... girls? I feel like well, you're trying to... I don't want to big you up too much, because oh. you already know, don't you? I love what you, you're good. You're you're sick. You got game, you know. I can tell you're wearing sunglasses. You got game. I love it. Yeah. And you got good eye contact as well. Well, the thing is, I I knew you were gonna wear sunglasses, but I can actually see your eyes, so I'm pretty yeah. happy about oh, that. Right, using your powers on me. Yeah. I'm Smash. <laughs> Big man ting. Why have I got Are you actually show, genuinely basically? looking for? I'm definitely looking for love. Yeah. So okay. I got like a bit of a social media following, so it's kind of hard to meet women. You get me? So evil. Most of the women I, I come in contact with, they're looking for money and clout. How do you know? Because you can just tell by the vibe. Tell me some red flags. Red flags. Mm, I like you. See, you're very, you know you're the first person that's asking questions. You're good. Really? Yeah. You're giving me a lot to ask about. But I like that. See, you're actually interested in getting to know me. That's a good yeah. sign right there. Big man ting. Yeah, so how I would tell is that if you didn't want to chat to me before and you want to chat to me now all of a sudden, I'm quite a crud, greasy guy. So the first thing I think is, why would you want to get to know someone that gives off the impression of a greasy, cruddy guy? Mm. If you ain't met me in real life to know I'm not that. Okay. So then that's a red flag, like what are you after? Mm. You get me? Okay. So if I tried to speak to you back in the day and you talk to me now, I'm thinking it's yes. a bit weird. Do you get what I'm trying to say? The thing is, I didn't even look into who you are because I want to know I'm who glad. you are. You're good, you know. Like, do you know your actual personality? Big man thing. I'm not feeling this. Sure. I'm feeling you came in with the all white. You get me? Just well, it's actually, is it white? It's cream. Thank We'd you. make a nice little couple. Do you think? Yeah, we'd be looking like like Seal and Heidi Klum. Like, you know, the, the interracial yeah, things. Don't know who that is. You, know, you don't know who Seal is? No. You ever heard that tune, Kiss from a Rose? Baby. Na, 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 no. Kiss. Rah. Sing yeah. more. No, Bev. That's You're trying to good. mash up my ting, Bev. That was quite good. Can't be dropping. Oh, see, so you're full of the compliments. I like that. Big man ting. You've got game, though. How, what do you mean I've got a game? You just know what you're doing. I feel like. You know what you're doing? Really? Yeah. What kind of guys usually go for? To be honest, I don't really go f go for like anyone in particular, but because you have to vibe. I like a guy to be in charge. Mm, so I like to relax and I like the guy to... Because I, I hate it when, a, when a, someone's saying like, oh, why didn't you text me first? Um, oh. So you like, like bad man? Energy. I like the alpha energy. You like bad man? Mm-hmm. Mm, so you like to be dominated in mm -hmm. that? I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. What's yeah. your favorite position? No comment. Mm, you're gangster with it, though. No comment. Not trying to reveal, but you like to be dominated, though. Are we talking about choking and things? Is that what we're saying? No comment. Mm. We're on a first date. We're on a first date. But still, though, I'm trying to get to know you. I'm trying to weed it out. You get me? See, but do you know it's a red flag for if you mention that kind of thing on a first date? It depends, though. Like, because what if you was chatting to a guy for a long time, went on a few dates, you get in bed and he's giving you the dead willy? 30 seconds. And he's like, mm. get me. Mm. And what if he pulls it out and the willy's mad soggy, bruv? And it's like, yo, bruv, the willy's just bare soggy and that. What are you going to say? You're going to be like, yo, bruv. But to even get to that point, you know, you've got to get to know me. Mm. So you got Because then I, I want to decide whether I want to even get you to that point. So you're not nervous at all. Get no, me? No. You know what you're doing, bruv? Because look, just see the way you're even positioning all that. I was, a bit, I was a bit scared. But now you're not. But now I'm not, no. You get me? You're, seem all right. you're used to the black man energy, right? No, I'm not used to it, but... No, I mean, I'm not controlling yeah. as a, like, yeah. I'm jealous or all of that. It's, it's not that, it's just, like, even even while having sex, I don't like somebody taking too much control of me. Like, I don't know what it is. Put it that way. If, I, if I'm, if i like, having, like, I can't really tell. For example, like, hair pulling and shit like that. If I allow you to grow up my hair, you can grow up my hair. But if I feel like... Like if I'm not feeling it, yeah, no. don't fucking touch Everything me. Everything has to be. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah. I'm a bit like that. And somebody did it, and even though I kind of like it, but I they didn't ask me for it, then I'd be like, 
you're a dickhead. Mm. You don't grab my hair. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. like to be in control. Mm. Period. So when was your last relationship? Um, about six months ago. Six months? That's quite recent. Why did it end? Oh God, you don't want to know. But it, it was very bad. When you say bad, like, is he an it HMP was... right now? Should, should we be, are we safe here? Like, what's going yeah, on? no, 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 we're safe. We're safe. Yeah? I think. I'm yeah. joking on him. What's going on, babe? No, it just, it wasn't good, but... He was on some toxic team. Oh, see, when I end things, I just want it to be just, we just end it and we just go our separate ways, but some people just, they just don't... So he's still after you at this current moment? Um, I don't know, hopefully not. You mm. never know. Did you have to relocate after this? I nearly did. Big man ting. <laughs> Yo, so he's a madman, basically. I, I don't know. I don't really want to comment too much about it. Okay, we don't, we don't want you to get in any trouble, you get me, but yeah. We don't know about this, the witness protection thing, you get me? <laughs> don't you think that mean you would make a nice little couple? I think so. Yeah, I, f yeah, I feel I that so. too. Like, we could just travel the world, you get me, and just end racism. Big man thing. <laughs> I feel like you need to give me some style tips, though. You got Style tips? Yeah. Nah, you came in an all nice little white bodysuit. That's like my thing, you get me? I love... Do you? Something about a bodysuit. Jumpsuit? Yeah, jumpsuit, it just pops. Really? Yeah, because it just looks like you're classy, you could do a mad thing, and it could just pop off real quick, you get me? It's just multi-purpose. Yeah. I love that shit. Thank you. Have you dated anybody famous? I feel like you have. No. You never dated no. nobody famous? Never. Never? Here we are. Big man thing. Yeah. Have you? Say something out now on all digital <laughs> platforms, Bev. So you have So you have. Big man thing. What are your ex? Do you know what an ick is? Yeah, I know what an ick is. I like that you asked it, see? I gotta shake your hand for that, yeah, because you know what? People don't really ask questions like this. You're a G. I genuinely wanna know you. And you know you're the most reserved and the most calm. You just got that aura yeah. about you, yeah. So my ick, honestly speaking, is if yeah. I go to a girl's house... Oh, yeah. ...and you've got shower curtains, <laughs> that gives me the ick. Does it depend on what shower curtains? Or just no, I feel like you should have glass, otherwise I'm gonna judge you. I have a glass. I you got glass? Yeah, that's that's what, you should, do you know what it is? Start. I just feel like if you've got the shower curtains, it's got all your bacteria and build up and nastiness mm, on there. Yeah. And I just feel like I'm going to get a rash. <laughs> so what is your ics? The guy's too clingy. I like a busy man who's mm. like on something. Like he's not just sitting around like wondering what I'm doing. Mm, yeah. See, I like so that. that is, honestly, I've actually ended it with people just straight up because of that. Just like that? I can't do it. So man was like, morning babes, and you're like, bro, <laughs> pussy all. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> That's what you was on. Waste man. Yeah. For real. I didn't call him a waste man, but I thought like, it. He's like, yo, why are you saying morning to me, bruv? Come on, bruv. What's your day like? Are you on the universal credit, bruv? Do some activity. No, that's bruv. genuinely what I think. That's what you think? No, 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 there's nothing wrong with people on universal credit. But... Shout out to the brokies. No, I'm just joking. But man. all I'm <laughs> saying is, if you're worrying about what I'm doing, you're not doing enough. Big so man. I, I love that, you know. And I like space, so if you can't give me space, then... Big man. So man's like, yo, morning, baby. You're like, yo, bruv, you should be working on being a high-value man, dickhead. Yeah. Rah. Do you know what I like about that? That means, like, we could do a thing, mm. and I don't have to message you for three, four days. Oh, no, that's fine. Big man. Actually, thing. days. Yeah, you okay, get me? Like, it's bad. like, we don't even, you don't even exist until I holler through, like, yo, babe. Okay, I'm, no, no, no. I'm in Swindon far. still. I'm that's coming true. That's a bit far. Ah, oh, right, no, cool, cool. I, I, don't, I, don't let go, I don't let it get that long, you get me? I give you a few hours. Can I ask you, have you ever cheated on someone? Yes, many times. I like it, honestly. Fair many play. times. I was a serial okay. cheater. I was cheating on a mad thing. It used to be a sport to me. If it was an Olympic sport, I would have been a gold medalist. I was super cheating. I became so good at lying. Like, that you believed I was right literally right. living ulterior li like motives, bruv. Like, literally. Like, I had different wifeys in different areas. I was like that guy, that Marvel guy with the, the thing on his head. The, the, the Mr. Marvel or what is his name. It was to the point where I had to stop. I got caught and then the well, girl messed up everything. She messaged all of them, she ruined everything. I mean, fair play. No, but then, yeah, it, then no, that? but I'm glad, I'm glad that happened. After that, I was like, thank goodness. I was doing a lot, let me tell you this. I'm venting to you right now, but I've got to get this off my chest. Yeah. Do it, go I was doing so much cheating. See, this is, this is, this is the white lady news coming out, I love it. I feel like we're in a movie right now, yeah? I was doing so much cheating, yeah? Like, I had to stop. I was telling multiple lies. I was living, my life was so mad. When it slowed down, I just had to get a rest. I felt like a weight got lifted on my shoulders. I could now start telling the truth. 
Wow. Yeah, so I got caught. She went to the other woman and she came to her. As a Wait, woman. when you say you got caught, did you literally get caught? In yeah, yes, yeah, like oh. super caught. Not like caught in the act, but she went through the phone. Oh, everything. I thought you meant you saw, she, she saw, saw a long list of things, yeah? But in some ways, I'm so glad that happened because I was kind of tired of living a double life. I was right. a businessman, I was an investor, I was a nightclub promoter, <laughs> I was a cage fighter, I was many different occupations, bruv. It was so mad. The, you know when Nipsey Hussle said the marathon continues, bruv? It that really was more was. than a marathon. That was very much a marathon. That's crazy. But then, I'll be honest with you, because now I'm very much known on social media, I'm so glad I don't ever do the cheating thing. Now I'm super honest about everything. Are you being honest? 100%. Because you just said you're a compulsive liar. No, 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 I was. I was. But then, do you know what it is? It's that, you know when you get freed from that, you never want to go back to that again. Now I'm just honest. Now if a girl's like, why don't you call me back? I'm like, bruv, you're not any stinks. Leave me alone. So if you were with me, yeah, and Kim Kardashian walked in and was like, oh, baby. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Can no. I be honest with you? you I feel like when I could put faces to the men's willies that you've oh. like swallowed and that, it kind of puts me off. I feel like it makes my willy soft. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I'll be looking at you and if I'm like, we're doing a thing and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, whose is this? I'm just like, and you're like, it's yours. I'm like, it's really not, bro. Okay. Do you cheat? No. You don't cheat at all? No. You're completely honest. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, like, have you been cheated on? Yeah, actually, yeah. I have actually. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Was that a big thing for you? Do you know what? It's weird. I actually am so proud of this, what, what I've got right now. Because if that happens, I genuinely, feelings get fly out the window. I actually don't feel anything. So, so I can just end it and not feel anything. They go crazy. Cause so you've become an AI robot now. Like Literally, you just don't give a fuck. I don't, genuinely. Because that gives me the biggest ick you could possibly... Cheating. Oh, it's embarrassing. Like, I just feel embarrassed. Like You feel embarrassed like, yo, look at what you're doing. Look at you moving like this. Yeah, because I think if that girl knows we're together or, or something like that, or if someone finds out, oh, that's so embarrassing for me. So is it worse if the girl is butters? No, I don't want to put another woman down. No, I'm just mad. She's clearly butters, bruv. Like, you're just like, yo, you're cheating on me with these things, bruv. Like, come on, bruv. No, I don't even really care what they look like. I just... It's just a matter care. of like, you just look at him with disgust. Yeah, I look at him with disgust, not, not anyone else. Mm. That's him. No, I agree with that. I'm not going to lie because when I think about how I was living, it was mad, bruv. Moving about, washing my willy in the sink, it was not a good life, bruv. You get me? It's a very grimy life, bruv. So I'm so glad that I'm not doing that. And then, you know what? It's peace of mind when you don't have to lie to someone. Wait, wait, wait. It's wait, a wait, beautiful wait. I'm feeling. It's like, what? You're washing... Washing your willy in the what, sink? when you're cheating? No, like you've done your thing, but then you've got to go see your next thing. So you're like, yo, wash the willy in the sink. Oh so, my... that whole boo boo. Do clean, men do that? Roll out. Yeah, bruv. Some men don't even wash the I willy. Some men don't even wash their willy. Oh, they're just no, out here, just on a, they're just whoop, just put on the jeans, roll out. Are you actually being serious? That's hundred percent. Wow. The man are just using it and then giving the girl a second-hand willy. I actually feel sick. Hundred percent. I feel sick too. But that's a, that's a very <laughs> sickening life. So if a girl did that to you, would, what would you do? I believe many have, bruv. Like I feel like a few times a girl came to my house and the nani was smelling a bit off key. Yeah. You get me? I smell it. Nearly got schizophrenia. I was like, you get me, bruv? It's mad. Say you were together for years and then you found out she was cheating on you. What, what, how would you deal with it? Would you just leave? Would you go mad? Oh, would you... No, I would just leave. I feel yeah. like, like if you react emotionally and do all them things like that, you're doing yourself a disservice. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? You should just walk away clean with your pride intact. Because yeah. nothing's going to change. You can't undo the willies, bruv. The willies yeah. have piled up, bruv. You can't undo the willies. Have you got a social media platform? I've got Instagram. Yeah. How big is your, how many followers you got? 36k? 36k? 36 k your, your DMs is moving mad. No, no, oh, I don't even look anymore. It's just too traumatising. You're on some chat GPT thing right now, <laughs> bruv. You're too good. You're moving like, it's too, things are going too well right now. There's something that's not right. Are you a mad gal? Like, what's really going what, on? What do you mean? Mad? You're moving too perfect. Am yeah. I? Yeah, I feel like you're low-key crazy. Something's off. No, I'm not. I'm just chilling. So 37,000. So what do you do for them 37,000? I genuinely, I don't really mind about social media. No, I'm saying, but what do you do to get them? Like, how do they follow you? I don't know. I, I genuinely, I don't know. A few of my pictures just... So you're just buff like that? They're just like, yeah. No, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't do anything special. I just... <laughs> I like how you're talking, though, because there's a girl here. She said she's the baddest bee in the UK. I like the confidence, though. <laughs> she said she's the baddest bitch in the whole of the United Kingdom. <laughs> that includes Scotland and Ireland. Wow. <laughs> What's your impressions of me? Do you know what? You're actually a nice, yeah, you're a nice guy. Uh -huh. I don't know why the reactions are so big. Because you're actually quite chill. Thank you I'm very nice. much. I'm feeling that still. You think your dad would like me? Well, yes, you seem alright, yeah. Mm, you think me and him could be cool together, like? Do you go fishing? 
I like fishing. Do you? Yeah, okay, like then you'll get on. Big man ting, shout yeah. him. Your dad sounds like a good guy, bruv, yeah. you get me? Well, he's the good girl, see, yeah, you're giving off the good vibes. Really? Yeah, eyes, and the eyebrows is nice as well, bruv. Everything's on point. Yeah, 100%. Thanks. I did it mm. myself. So how important is money to you? It's obviously nice. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I don't like to get treated and stuff mm. like that, because I do. But it's not like a deal breaker. Mm. Have you ever dated a broke man? I don't think so, unless you count like when I was younger, when mm. no one has money. So now the broke man don't even really approach you like that? Is that what you mean? No. <laughs> mm. So you're only attracting a certain type of man, is that what you're saying? Well, what do you mean by broke? Do you mean just literally no money Super at all? Super out, bruv. Oh no, I wouldn't. Nothing yeah. happening. If he's a bum, then there's no way I would even... What's the definition like, of a bum? Right, so someone who's broke but they don't care, they're just chilling. They don't want to do anything with their life, like they're just... What well, if they're pursuing a, uh, a rap career? I mean, if they're trying, then I don't mind. Mm -hmm. If you're broke but you're trying, I'd... I'd, I'd love if that. their bars were shit, would you tell them? If their music was shit, would you like, like, rev? I've had it before and someone showed me and I said it was good and it wasn't good. So you was dating someone that made music and you told them? Well, I don't want to... It's not baiting them out. They ain't gonna know. They can Basically, be, I went uh, on a on a date with someone. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't with them. But I went on a date with them in London, and then <laughs> they were sat in the car, like playing their music, and they were like, "Oh, I just want to show you like my mixtape." And I like, damn, just, it was really bad. I just had to sit there like <laughs> big man sing. So he was fully vibing out to it. Yeah, but you don't even understand. Like the volume was maximum volume too, and everyone could hear outside. And it was just... Did you feel hella ick from yeah. that? Yeah. I didn't like... ever see him again after. So that. was he like, "Yo, stab man in the face"? Did it? Was that what you was thinking? Yo, yeah, but auto tune. He was like saying stuff like that, but auto tune on. So he was on some sexy, flexy R and B thing. Yeah. I rate the creativity, but it's just so if it's just... not good, it's not. You just felt that he needs to hand in the application to Boots, like and give up the music thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling that still. Would you ever date a man that works in a warehouse? Why would that be a problem? I'm just, I'm just asking. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean warehouse? Is there a hidden thing? No, no, there? I used to work in a warehouse years ago. Oh, that's that's fine. Warehouse is fine. Mm. But what are the hours like? Bev, you know the Amazon thing? They work, man them like a slave, bruv. Two, two to two a.m., bruv. It's a mad thing. They're a bit mad hours. I thought you'd be lying to me. Mm. Not actually you think they'd be on a mad thing? This... Oh, I'm just going to the warehouse, babe. Mm. When really, what are you doing? I think he's out here just slanging out the willy still. Yeah. You're very, very smart, weird. you're very clued up, you're very woke. Stay woke, bruv. Big man ting. Yeah. But I just got, so you do have a high sex drive though? Uh, yeah. Mm, I'm feeling that still. I'm liking that. Do you? I, I mean, a, yeah. I have a very high sex drive. How high? Like very high, especially like if you're super crisp like, like you are right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'd have to be getting it in all the time. Get me, they have to be clapping cheeks day and night. Right, okay. You get me? Like, the yeah. freaky thing as well. We recording, we be making movies and shit. Bare content. Wait, recording it? Yeah, that's consensually, you get me, bruv. I'm not trying say. to be moving out here, bruv. I'll get be me. worried then. Not on no Harvey Weinstein thing, bruv. You get me? Not on them things. You get me? Consensually recording thing. And we watch it back, you get me? Look at the angles and some Spielberg things. You get me? Yeah, I feel like I fully rattled you of that. You're getting very yeah, intimately I'm, scared. Yeah, I'm just, no, I'm not, no, I'm not scared. I'm just... In, Intrigued. You know you're you're the most calmest person that's been here. Really? You so would never think you had any kind of nerve problems. <laughs> no, I don't have nerve problems. No, but I mean you've I just never thought it with you. So not not in like a bad way, mm. but as in what I was told the reactions were. So how about now? I'm very calm. You've calmed me down. I've calmed you down. Yeah, see, I, feel, it's the energy. I feel good. There was no need to be nervous. It's the energy, see? That's a big boy watch. Who got you that watch? Me, I bought it. Big man saying, see, your own money, your own peas. Yeah, I was I'm liking that. I was seeing this. See. Not seeing, but speaking to this big footballer, yeah. and then yeah. I saw yeah. he blocked me on everything, bro. Uh, and oh then wow. he went back to his ex. So <laughs> I was literally like, I don't know what, I don't know what to call it. Mm. But then I, I told her like, babe, just yeah. watch out because this I empower women. I don't want to bring women down. Like I didn't yeah. know that he was out here trying to play both of us, honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't do that. No, good on yeah. you. I think don't yeah. do that. Cause at the end of the day, yeah. I'm girls. I'm for girls. I would, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I, I am for women empowerment and yeah. girls. Same, same. What is it? I can never I, message I, I, a girl though. Yeah, but um, what the? There's like a girl code. Girl code. Yeah, yeah I'm. I, just, I that. get that, but more time, I mind my business and I don't like drama. I don't want my name in no, Of course, you want to stay out of it, but. I would just be like, oh, okay, this is how it is, and I move on. You can yeah, I don't think out. you need to mess with The only reason I, I actually spoke is because. No, I feel, like, I feel like, like he's only yeah. fair. I would normally just walk away. <coughs> just, but there's a time. But no, no don't disrespect mm -hmm. me, my boy. What do you think of this date? I think. No, hang on, what do you think of the date? I don't want to. I don't want to big you I'm up. Glad that you, I'm glad that you asked me. You're good. You're using little mind tricks. I'm not going to lie. 
It's actually been a pleasant experience. I'm actually yeah. very surprised. I can notch this off my list. First blonde thing I've ever gone on a date really? with. Really? Big man thing. Would you go on a date with another blonde girl now? No, only you. Really? Big man thing. Yeah, you know that's made my day. You get me? Like, I, I, I like your vibe. You've got a different vibe. Really? You get me? I feel like really? you've got that aura about you. I feel like on the low, you're taking a lot of man's bank details. You get me? But I feel <laughs> like there's something else to you, but I like it. Okay, So what you. have your thoughts been on a date? Okay, now I can speak. Um, I've really liked it. Mm -hmm. I, you are a cool guy. Mm -hmm. Like, not that I didn't think you would be. I know you will be, but yeah, you're just nice. You're calm. You're confident, but you're calm. You're not like too out there. And Big man thing. And you're honest. I, I like your honesty, even though you told me some mad things. I have to be honest, though. You yeah. get me? Get out of the way. So you're never going to get somebody pop up sending you a mad DM because I've told mm -hmm. you the truth. You get me? Yeah. So yeah. Big man thing, I've had a very nice date with you. And you. Would you go on a second date with me? Yeah. Maybe. Well, you sounded a bit sceptical. Yeah. What's stopping you? What's making you be like, hmm? Because you bring up certain things that I would class as like a red flag. The cheating thing? The intimate. Well, you don't like f***ing, is that what you Well, mean? no, I just think first date, that, that kind of conversation, if you start talking about that, you only want to do one thing with me, I think. Nah, do you know what it is? I just like to get out of the way. I don't like to set myself up from disappointment. Yeah. You get me? Like, imagine like we get down to the thing. And your nani smells or something, Bev, or is this dead? Or your ting's mad hairy and shit, and then it's just like, Bev, what's really going on, Bev? You get me? I just like to get out all the specifics, you get me? Because attraction and intimacy can make a relationship go a long way. Yeah, true. So if you're in true. sync and the vibe is right, then it's good. You see, I don't believe in building up a sexual connection. I think it should just be there. But then you don't have anything to look forward to if you just do it. Straight. No, no, I don't mean like that. I mean, like, the sexual energy has to be there. I don't yeah. think you can build that. Okay. Get me? I think that it's just got to be natural, like animals. Like right now I'm looking at you and I'm just like, yo, man just wants to tear that up. <laughs> get me? Man just wants to tear up the naan bread, you get me? I don't want it teared up. Big man thing. I want it pretty. Pretty. We could do pretty, you get me? Okay. That can happen too. <laughs> yeah, but I've had a great date with you. Same with you. Big man thing. Next time on Clout Chasers. First girl that I'm going to be eliminating is... I'm glad I never have to chat to this person. <laughs> I told the streets, I said Wagwan. <laughs> you said you're the baddest girl in the UK, and I'm not even sure if you're the baddest in the room right now. Baby.